In this video, we're going to be looking at using the VLOOKUP function. Uh, we have touched on this before, but we wanted to do uh, another video using the function, but with a real world example of where we have multiple data sets that we want to combine together to give us one piece of information that has all the data that we need. So in our example, uh, we've got three data sets in total. Uh, so the first one, we'll just step through each one of those. So the first one is the table you see in front of you. So we can see we've got a person's first name and their last name. And we've also got an identification number uh, titled ID in column A. So the ID is unique for each individual. Uh, in data number two, we can see that we've got now some uh, location information. So we've also got our ID number here in column A. And then we've got a uh, country in B, a city in C, and then the address in D. So obviously each of those being for a particular individual. And the last one we have in data three is once again our ID number in column A, but this time we've just got an email address for each individual. So the outcome of using the VLOOKUP and what we want to achieve is rather than having this information spread across three uh, separate sheets, we want to pull it all together into this first uh, sheet we have here in data number one, so that it's just all in one place uh, and a lot easier for obviously to us manage. Uh, you can obviously get uh, or you might result in having uh, separate data sets that we've got here if you're sourcing out of different databases or if you have different sources for different information. Uh, so in your working environment, you might find that one person has your list of contacts, but someone else has the location information for those contacts, to give an example. It's also worth just mentioning here, just for like data protection reasons, all the information that we're looking at in this example is not real person information. It was all generated at random. Uh, so this information will not tie back to any individual in particular, or if it should do, it is by all means complete coincidence and just down to random luck. Okay, so a bit about the data that we have. So if you didn't know already, when you're using the VLOOKUP, you obviously have to use uh, an ID or you have to have a lookup value uh, in your starting table that you're going to look up in a separate table to return some other information. And when we're working with data, uh, we'll see separate data sets, we need to ensure that we have a unique identifier in each of those data sets. And a unique identifier is uh, an ID uh, that will allow us to uh, associate um, each piece of information with that particular ID, what ties everything together. So for us, and luckily the information is all sorted in order. We can see that in data number one, in row two, we've got um, uh, Rudy, Ruyard Osborne, and his ID number is OSB and the number one. If we then go jump across to data number three, uh, we can see that um, we've got the, obviously the ID again in row two of OSB one that we know uh, relates to Ruyard. Um, but then we can see what his, uh, his email address is. So we know that ID here, as long as the ID is present, then all that information will tie back to that individual and the same for locations. So we've kind of ticked number one. So we've ensured that there is a unique identifier to tie all the information together present in each of our data sets. So this is a step that you need to make sure that you have checked as well. Um, so if there isn't a unique identifier, you even need to ensure that uh, you get that added. So if it is available in the source information, or alternatively, you may need to create an identification or a unique identifier to allow you to do your VLOOKUP. Once you've achieved that step, we can start now populating this information. So the first thing we want to populate is, we'll start with location, we'll go in the order of the data that we have. So we have, um, let's have a look in data two. So there's three pieces of information we want to pull through, country, city, and address. And for example, all the countries are going to be the United Kingdom, um, but nonetheless, we will pull that through anyway. So to do this, we need to go back to data number one, the place that you want to uh, insert your VLOOKUP formula to pull through the information. And just for our reference, we'll put the top here, we'll call it country, city, and address, so we know that what, um, what columns we're looking for. So when we're looking at enter our VLOOKUP, we do equals VLOOKUP. And I didn't need to do the up in capitals there, so let's just do that. And then open our brackets. So our value to look up is our unique identifier, what we've got in column A here, of OSB1. 
in, then we hit comma, and then our table array. So what we need to do is we need to ensure that that lookup value or our unique identifier is at the start in the first column of the data um, we're going to look for it for. And obviously another tick, so we can see that it is indeed, and it's in column A. And what we're going to do is just select all of this range here. So go in all columns from A through to D because that is where all our data is contained. We're going to then do a comma. And what I missed out a step there, as you just see, and let me just do that again. So let me just go back. So we're now back in data number one. Um, because obviously we're going to be extracting data, what's on a different sheet, uh, open, reopen and then select our lookup value and then do comma. When we go into our table array, um, because as we say, the data is in a separate sheet, it doesn't impact us at all really. All we can need to do is having entered so far this much of the formula, we just go into the sheet we wish to pull from and you'll see it looks like they're now being uh, both selected. And then all you then need to do is select that range. So just reselect that range I did. The only difference you'll notice when you are set, uh, selecting data from a different sheet to the one you're pulling to is that the, the sheet name will be referenced in the formula. So you can see we've got data two here. If this information was in the same sheet, you wouldn't have that, it would just show column AD. But this is the only difference that you'll see. Once we've selected all that range, we then need to enter, uh, having hit comma, the column index number. So this is obviously the column which uh, holds the information within this table we've just selected that we wish to return. So the first column we want to return is in column B, and that is the second column within our table, and that is country. So what we need to do is enter the number two. And then lastly at the end here, we have our true or false uh, options. So we can either enter true for approximate match or false for uh, exact match. And it looks like my laptop's just about to die. So I'd best just turn plug that in now. So we have either true, sorry about that. So we have either a true op, um, option here for approximate match, or we have false for exact match. So what we're going to do is we want to get an exact match. So we'll just hit false, double click, and then we'll do our close brackets and then hit enter. Okay, so we can see that the value is now pulled through. So we've got the United Kingdom just uh, pulled in there. What we're going to do is use the autofill, so that little square in the bottom of the corner there. If you hover over that, you'll get the, um, the black crosshair. Double click that, and that will pull that formula down uh, for each of those other values. And while we're here, I'm just going to copy the formatting from column C using our format painter over the side here. Just click that once, so it's selected, and I can click and drag so it applies to those other fields as well. Okay, so when we want to pull through city and address, because it's going to be exactly the same formula as what we just now entered here for country, the only difference is going to be our column index, so where you've got number two here. All we need to do is copy this formula, go to city, and we know that city is going to be in the third position. So if we go back to data two, we can see that, that city is the third column and address is going to be the fourth. So all we need to do here to make this very easy and quick to do is paste in our formula. And this time we're just going to change the column index number to three. And you can see it's going to pull through the city. And the last one we can do is just do the same again. Oh, might help if I had the formula copied. And do exactly the same, but this time we're going to change it to be the value or number four. And there you go, it's pulled through the address. So that's another quick way you can do it, rather than having to keep going back and forwards to enter pretty much the same format in again and again. Pull that down, just to expand our columns, and you can see that information has now been pulled through uh, for each individual using the unique identifier in column A to source the information. So we've got GAM address done, so that's the tick there. So the last one we have is to pull through email address. So the last thing we need to do is once again enter our VLOOKUP, Select our unique identifier. Our table array this time is going to be in the data sheet or data three sheet. So if you navigate to there, then you've got two columns in this table. So we just need to select both of those. And you can see data three has been referenced in the uh, formula at the top here. Column index number to return is number two. And this time we're going to again, once again, do false because we want there to be an exact match on our uh, unique identifier or our lookup value. So once I enter that, we can do enter, and we can see our, our, our um, email address being pulled through. We'll use our autofill again to pull that down. Slight bit of formatting, we'll copy across to G from column E. 
double click where we've got the little crosshair here to make the column the same width and we can now title this email and there you go you've now we've now pulled through all that information what was previously in separate sheets and we've now got it into one smart format uh, what's easier for us to navigate and to be able to see the information for each individual so for or Kevin in row three should we say we can now see rather than navigating across all three sheets we can see what the name is we can see where they are, uh, they're in Edinburgh, Edinburgh of the UK, and we can see their email address as well. So that makes it a lot easier. One point to notice, mention is at the moment, obviously we've still got formulas in here. This is great if our data is gonna constantly be updated in data two and three, in case we need to update it to later information or new information. But it's also worth to remember, we might want to just copy all this information by highlighting those columns, all those four columns, selecting copy, and then this time doing a paste values using this number option here. So you can see the clipboard with one, two, and three for values. And now we've got the values entered in there rather than the formulas. So that just means that there's not gonna be any confusion if a formula's uh, removed or any confusion if a formula is updated. It's now physically hard um, text inputted into that. So we hope you enjoyed that video and that gave you a bit more insight into uh, using the VLOOKUP in more real world scenarios and especially to do VLOOKUPs with um, referencing data in separate sheets. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification button to be notified as soon as our new videos hit YouTube. Links in the description to this video are also very useful for our Instagram and our Facebook pages. If you have any questions at all, either drop us a comment on our social pages or drop a comment below this video and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you very much and we'll see you in the next video.